Hey guys, welcome back. As you can probably tell, we're practice welding a dummy dropout. I used a spare chainstay that I had messed up back in the day, and the dummy dropout was cut from a piece of 4130 plate. Okay, I'm tack welding those tabs I made and using them to cap the open end of the tube. I'm attempting to fusion weld the tabs on. I'm pulsing at 0.8 pulses per second, 50% background current, 25% pulse time on. These are uh, my favorite pulse settings so far and I've pretty much been using this for everything. Alright, here's a nice burnout on the end. So uh, I just ignored that for the time being and uh, tack welded in from the other side. So I didn't speed up the footage and I did that so you guys get an idea of my travel speed and the timing of the pulse. Alright, there's the fusion weld. It's okay, better than the other side. And uh, here I am filling that gap that I had made. And man, is this taking long. Where those sparks are coming from. And man is that hot. So I'm pretty sure I cooked it. And here I am parting off the excess uh, tab. And uh, I was gonna keep the uh, weld, fusion weld on there, and it just came out so bad and so ugly that I decided I'm going to uh, grind down all the crap. Alright, there's the other side I tacked on. And uh, this time I stuck the filler in there so I don't burn it out on the end. And then once I got started, I uh, I fusioned, fusion welded it with the pulser. And here I am carrying the fusion weld on. And I, you see I got my filler ready for when I get to the end. Oh man, <laughs> it's so... <laughs> It's so sparky. I don't know what, where that's coming from. I thought it was getting shielded well enough, but I don't know. All right, so I'm um, parting the other tab off, cl cleaning it up. And here I am sanding it down. And I'm pretty sure I sanded off way too much. It looks nice and clean, but I'm pretty sure I, I, you know, no big deal. I mean, that's what practice is for. And if you've never done anything like this, like me, this is my first one. So I highly recommend practice. And I'm really glad I did this because if uh, this was the real chainstay. I would have been pretty bummed because it it just didn't come out the way I wanted it to as well as I wanted it to come out. So uh, I know that the second time around I'll do a much better job. So uh, I took this as an opportunity to uh, try some different things and get all my mistakes out of the way first. It's welding time! And uh, I'm pulsing at roughly the same settings, or exactly the same settings. And you 
can see I'm doing a pulse dip here. And uh, the other side. I can't. Oh, yeah, okay. I thought I was uh, lay doing lay wire, but no, I'm dipping. And now I'm uh, throwing a short bead on the end. Sparks, man. So many. There must have been a draft or something going on, because... That's, uh, that's more than normal. Alright, here I'm doing a lay wire, so yeah, I'm just trying all kinds of different things just to see what I like best, uh, or what might work best for this type of, uh, this type of situation. More lay wire. And there's a little hole there, I don't know how- oh, I know how that happened, so do you know why that hole happened? It was because I sanded it down too much. There just was like barely any material right there. So I'm filling it. Yeah. Ooh. So ugly. <laughs> Alright, uh, yeah, so on the other side I switched to Pulse dip. Oh, actually, no, sorry, not pulse dip. I actually switched to uh, just straight up welding and dipping. No pulse. And of all the things I tried, I actually forgot to try high frequency pulse. I just totally forgot about that. Yeah, so here I am pulse dipping again. And I think that's it. Yeah, we're done. There it is. Alright guys, that's a wrap. If you're uh, new to the channel and you like this video, please subscribe. And to the folks who have been tuning in, I do apologize this video took so long. It was a crazy couple weeks and I kind of needed a bit of a break, so I actually took a break. And uh, I did that because I want to make sure that this series stays fun and I was uh, stressing myself out. I was trying to put these videos out every week and it's just not a pace that I could sustain. So I thank you guys for hanging in there and uh, I'll see you guys later.